Hello there. Welcome to Sean Academy. Today in this video we're going to learn how to start a lumberyard business. My name is Sarah and I will be your instructor in this video. Before we start a lumberyard business, let's take a closer look at what goes into starting one and how we can make yours profitable. As the proprietor of a lumber yard, you will offer construction materials to building contractors and property owners for the purpose of renovations or new construction projects. You will maintain a diverse inventory of wood cut into popular sizes and additional supplies such as wallboard, roofing materials, hardware, and fencing. You will also offer custom cutting services and delivery to job sites. The cost of starting a lumber yard can vary and it will require a substantial initial investment. You will need to purchase or rent a warehouse or store on at least one acre of land, with more space allowing for a broader selection of lumber. Heavy-duty equipment such as forklifts, saws, storage racks, pallet jacks, and retail store setup will also be needed. Additionally, you will need to place orders to stock your inventory with lumber, hardware, and other supplies. If delivery services are offered, trucks and vans will also need to be part of the initial investment. Capital requirements can range from $500,000 to $1 million. Your primary regular expenses will be payroll and inventory maintenance. Other costs of doing business include building maintenance, licensing, safety inspections, and marketing. You must keep your vehicles in good condition and carry business insurance. Your target audience is primarily busy general contractors who will buy significant amounts of supplies from your yard on a regular basis. You may offer them discounted wholesale prices for continued business. Homeowners and property managers will provide a steady stream of business, but they will not spend as much as contractors. The more lumber you sell, the more money your business will earn. As a lumber yard, your bottom line will be driven by numbers and volume. By stocking a larger variety of products, contractors will use you as a one-stop shop for all of their building supply needs, resulting in larger sales. While a single nail can be sold for just a few pennies, selling enough lumber to build a house will cost thousands. Your retail manager will continually compare prices with your competitors to ensure you remain competitive. Your profit margin for much of your lumber stock will be in the 15-20% to range. Hardware and accessories have a much higher profit margin and require less manpower to stock. A small lumberyard can expect to make a net profit of $50,000 to $100,000 while a larger yard in a busy area can make a million-dollar annual profit. Managing your inventory carefully will help improve your profit margin. Products that don't sell and take up space on your shelves should be removed from your regular inventory. Be sure not to run out of popular products during the busy building seasons, and add new products regularly to keep your customers interested and engaged. A successful lumberyard business can serve both commercial and residential customers supplying building materials for construction, renovations, and home improvement projects. Here are some key steps to consider when starting a lumber yard business. 1. Develop a business plan. A business plan is essential to help you define your vision, outline your goals, and determine the resources needed to start and run your business. Your business plan should include a market analysis, financial projections, marketing strategies, and a detailed overview of your product and service offerings. 2. Secure funding. Starting a lumberyard business can be capital intensive, so you will need to secure funding to cover the initial startup costs, such as purchasing land or leasing a facility, buying equipment, and building inventory. You can obtain funding through loans from banks or other financial institutions, investors, or crowdfunding platforms. 3. Choose a location. The location of your lumberyard business is crucial to its success. Look for a location that is easily accessible to both suppliers and customers, with adequate space for storage, loading and unloading, and parking. You may also want to consider proximity to transportation hubs, such as highways or rail lines, to facilitate the transportation of materials. 4. Obtain necessary permits and licenses. Starting a lumberyard business requires compliance with various state and local regulations. You will need to obtain permits and licenses, such as a business license, zoning permit, building permit, and environmental permit, to ensure that you operate legally and responsibly. 
5. Purchase equipment and inventory. To run a lumberyard business, you will need to purchase equipment such as forklifts, trucks, and saws, as well as build up an inventory of lumber and other building materials. Work with suppliers to negotiate prices and establish good relationships. And keep a close eye on your inventory to ensure that you always have enough materials on hand to meet customer demand. 6. Hire staff. As your business grows, you will need to hire staff to assist with operations such as loading and unloading materials, managing inventory, and assisting customers. Look for candidates with experience in the lumber or construction industry, and invest in training and development to help your team build their skills and knowledge. 7. Market your business. Finally, you will need to promote your lumberyard business to attract customers and build brand awareness. Consider advertising in local newspapers and trade publications, setting up a website or social media pages, and participating in industry events and trade shows. You may also want to offer promotions or discounts to new customers to encourage them to try your products and services. If you found this video useful, please show your appreciation by clicking the like button. Let us know in the comments if you'd like us to make a long, comprehensive follow-up video to learn more about how to start a lumber yard business. Also, don't forget to click the subscribe button to see more videos from Sean Academy. An extension for education.